Hi everyone, um, Emmanuel here from Majesties and just want to talk about uh, a worship movement and just a chord progression that uh, is called the 736 or the 251 and a very common progression in worship and a progression that you know you must have okay not really must but you can't run away from it okay so straight to this huh? um i've covered much of this in the foundational piano course of which i'll put the links below this video and you can get the full course that covers this and much more but i'll, I'll explain this concept on a scale um i'll start by using the c major scale just to explain okay c major scale c d e f g a b c one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So when we talk about a seven, three, six chord progression, we are talking about B, three is E, and six is A, okay? Seven, three, six. Of course, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, three, six. Now, uh, there are many ways to play the seven, three, six, but I'll just talk about one way to play it and the type of chords that I like using when I'm playing this progression. So, um, on the seven, I like playing the minor chord, the minor seventh, and then on the three, I'll play the dominant seventh chord, and on the six, I'll play the minor seventh chord. So, for example, in the key of C, I'll play... B minor 7th, E dominant 7th, to A minor 7th. And you can note that I'm using inversions. So, for example, my B minor 7th is an inversion. This is the original B minor 7th. B, D, F sharp, and A. So I'm using F sharp, A, B, and D. With that B on the left. And then I go to chord number 3, that is E dominant 7th chord. That is E, G sharp, B, and D. And then my 6th is A minor 7th, again, an inversion of A minor 7th, because the original A minor 7th is S, C, E, G, so I'm playing E, G, A, and C, right? So, the progression is 7, 3, 6, okay? Now, what about a 2, 5, 1 progression? What is 2? 2 is D, so I'll play D minor 7th, and then, what is 5? G, G dominant 7th, and then what is 1? C major 7th, right? So I'm playing this inversion of D minor 7th. That's D, F, A, and C, but I'm playing it as A, D, A, okay, so A, C, D, and F, inversion of D minor 7th, and then G dominant 7th, of course, G, B, D, F, back to 1, which is G, B, C, and E, okay? So my foundational course covers a lot with the formation of these chords and all that, okay? So that's why I'm not going deep into those details. So, 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 7, 3, 6. Now, I'd encourage you to find that progression in different keys. For example, uh, if I want to do the same progression in key F, okay? F. That's the scale. So what would be 7? E. Okay, so I'll play E minor 7th. And then what is 3? 7, 3, 6. What is 3? A. A dominant 7th chord. A, C sharp, E, and G. Then 6 is D minor 7. That is A, C, D, and F. So 7, 3, 6. What is 2, 5, 1? 2 is G. So I'll play G minor 7th. I'll use this inversion. The original chord is G minor 7 is that, G, A sharp, D, and F, but I'm using D, F, G, and A sharp, 2. And then what is my 5? C dominant 7th chord, C, E, G, B flat. Then 1 is F major 7th chord. I'm using, of course, this inversion A of C, E, F, and A. So that would be 2, 5, 1, 7, 3, 6. Now, this progression is very important, okay, because you'll find it appearing in many worship songs. It's a worship movement, okay, 736 or the 251. And um, I'll use one example. I like this Don Moen song that uses this at the intro, okay? Just go and listen to this song, All To You by Don Moen, okay? You'll hear this. I 
So it starts with that two, five, one, seven, three, six, and then four, and then a four over five. That's B flat major over C, and back to F. Okay. So when you listen to many gospel songs, you'll hear this progression being used a lot. So it's upon you to train your ears to be sensitive to pick out these songs. Okay, these progressions. So like the other progression which is being used here at the end, I'm playing at the end, is 3, 6, 2. 3 is A minor 7th in the key of F, 6 is D minor 7th, 2 is G minor 7th. 3, 6, 2. For example, in F sharp, that would be 2, 5, 1, 7, 3, 6. And then flat 7 over 5, 1, yeah. So in F sharp, okay. I know many of you are in F sharp. Two, G sharp minor seventh, seven, F minor seventh, one, F sharp major seventh, and then, okay, sorry, two five one, G sharp minor seventh, C sharp dominant seventh five, then one, F sharp major seventh, and then seven, F minor seventh, three. A sharp dominant seventh, six, D sharp minor seventh. Okay, two, five, one, seven, three, six. So can you just try practicing that in as many keys as you can? It will. It's also just a progression that can help you master these chords in in different keys. Okay. Hi everybody. So to get the foundational piano course, just check the link below this video, www.majestyshouseofmusic.com. Go to the store and look for the foundational piano course, okay? This course will help you to understand the construction of major scales, the chords, progressions, basic progressions, and all that you've covered in this video. Remember that you can also get further courses on my website, like I have the minor scales course. This course will help you to understand the construction of different minor scales and formation of chords along these scales. And also for those of you who are playing in the key of F sharp, I've designed an F sharp course, purely African praise and worship in the key of F sharp. And this course will help you take your playing of praise and worship in the key of F sharp to another level. Remember that you can also download our free ebook, all right, with chord diagrams and lots of theoretical information. Links are below this video. God bless you and thank you for standing with majesties. See you next time.